There are basically three ways you can white balance your videos. You can use a white balance preset, you can use auto white balance, or you can manually set a custom white balance. I would not recommend you to use a preset and I will tell you why. I will also tell you when to use auto white balance and when to set a custom white balance manually. In the end of this video I will also give you one bonus tip that I really find helpful. So today I'm out filming on a cloudy day and for this I could use a cloudy sky preset. But there is a problem with that because all cloudy days doesn't have the same color temperature and that also goes for or light bulbs or other white balance presets in your camera. So I simply can't recommend you to use those presets. And with the white balance presets out of the game, you can either use auto white balance or manually set a custom white balance. Right now I'm using the auto white balance and the auto white balance is perfect for run and gun videos when you are turning the camera against the sun or away from the sun or you are running from the, a sunny spot into the shades or you are moving indoors from room to room with the different light sources and uh, in situations when there are little time to set your camera settings between all scenes or between all locations when you need to have a rapid workflow and just shoot it quickly. But since I'm stationary in this video, I have my camera on a tripod and the color temperature is somewhat consistent. I think this would be a great opportunity to go through how to manually set the custom white balance. One way to set your white balance is to use something white. Uh, today I'm deliberately wearing a sweater that is not totally white or neutral white, it's uh, more kind of uh, off-white. So a cheap way to do this would be to use a paper or something that is more neutral white. I prefer to use a special grey card for this, which is uh, grey on one side and white on the other side. You can find those at a good price on Amazon, I will leave a link in the description. And the grey card is uh, neutral grey, it's not warm grey or cold grey or has any tint or so, so it's just perfectly grey. I'm using my Sony A6400 today, but you can do this in a similar way on your Sony A7 III or other Sony cameras and even other camera brands. So what you want to do is to fill out the whole frame with your grey card. I'm gonna switch over to the camera view now. Alright, so on my Sony a6400 I go to the first tab and page 11 and then I select white balance. As you can see right now I'm using uh, auto white balance and then I go all the way down to the bottom and here I have my custom white balance. I can have three different on my camera, it can be different on your camera. Oh, of course the tab and the page can also be different on your camera but it will work in a similar way. And here I uh, go to set and I press enter and then I press enter again. And here I have my new white balance and then I press enter again. And now I'm shooting with my new custom white balance. One very useful bonus tip is that when I have set my white balance and I'm now shooting my actual footage, I hold up something white like a paper or this uh, grey card in the beginning of my sequence. Then I can use it in my editing software for color correction, color grading or color calibration or anything like that. So that is extremely useful to have in each clip. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.